Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Today we're going to be talking about this awesome thing we have right here. This is a saddle. This is a custom made, handmade hunting saddle that is absolutely amazing. It's been, I mean, if you guys follow my podcast, you know who John Tucker is. Uh, Tucker Chronicles, he's been on there. He's one of my good hunting buddies. He's been a saddle hunter now for 20 something years. He hunts exclusively out of saddles and he's been making saddles. I have one of his uh, first prototypes from 20 years ago uh, that he's made too i actually my buddy joe has it right now he still hunts out of it today um and uh uh but john has uh he's made a ton of these saddles over the years and this is his latest and greatest and he's actually uh due to request from you guys from hearing him in a podcast he has uh figured out a way and decided uh he's selling them now so they are available he is hand making them each one he has this huge massive multi-thousand dollar industrial sewing machine and he sews them together by him in person by himself each one by hand um, he's had them in and tested strength test all the webbings the stitches this thing is just absolutely incredible this is that saddle it is the lightest thing I've ever had in my hands uh, it has got some brilliant features in it to make it absolutely amazing and I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you and explain some of the benefits to it and some of the advantages and uh, then uh, I will put down in the description below I will have some information there for you on how you can contact him I might even put it on the screen I know he's in a process of trying to get a website built and he's trying to get his Facebook stuff up uh, this has all come about pretty quick but uh, he's he's making them right now and they are available so you can have one for this hunting season but this harness this this saddle is absolutely incredible and I know he actually offers a couple different versions of it too he's got an ultra ultra light one a real minimalist one and then this one but this saddle is just insane um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then I'm gonna show you what we got going on here but really good quality feature stuff in here look at the quality of this stitching and the sewing on here where you at I mean this thing is just built with military spec webbing this thing is just amazing even the, the G hook for the legs they're uh, mill spec G hooks on there quick release uh, Cobra buckle on there mill spec Cobra buckle um, the thing is just incredible it's actually got uh, um, uh, Lyman belt loops on there as well too right here you can see uh, the bridge the bridge is pretty amazing the way this bridge is structured here and what it does and I'll show that to you here once I put it on so this thing is incredible absolutely awesome I'm gonna go ahead and get this on reposition the camera and we'll show you what it's all about all right, now that we have this harness on, here it is right here. You guys can see it pretty good, um, this saddle on here. Now, what's nice, you have the Lyman belt loops right here on the side. These make it great. So I can take my Lyman rope here, and uh, you can hook this right on, lock it right onto there like that. And now you're safe and set when you're on that tree. You just lock that right on. He's got it positioned perfectly. So all that weight is distributed on your hips here. Okay, it's not actually pulling from inside and tightening. It's, it's awesome. He's got them put right where they need to be. Uh, they're very easy access to be able to pop on and off. And he's actually doubled them over and sewn them together so that you don't have to fight to find it and have to chase to get through that loop. It's just really simple and easy uh, to lock right on there. As you can see here on this one, see that loop just stays open on its own right there. So it's really simple to hook and lock onto and to get off of without having any snag. Again, John's been doing this for, he hunts exactly like I do mobile hunting up and down a tree every single time. He's been doing it for as long as I have, longer actually. Um, and so that's, you know, so it's a beautiful system with that lineman belt having that set up right there. Um, and, and works great. He's got the loops on there. Now this bridge that's on here is pretty amazing the way he's got this bridge structured on here. Now the bridge is the part that's gonna where you're, you're gonna connect to the tree with your saddle for actual hunting. So now I'm just using my lineman belt now because I haven't, I just got this and I haven't had a time to set up my actual line up here yet to, to build one yet. So we're gonna for practical purposes just use, use my uh, um, my lineman rope here. So you take this, you have that set, this is your main line, and then on your bridge, when you connect into your bridge, bring that down a little bit here, just again because I'm not all set up. So when you have your bridge set up on there like that, man this thing is so comfortable. It just cradles you exactly where you want to be. It doesn't pull hard and wrap tight around you because of the way he's got this design on here. As you can see, uh, just a flawless setup on this system. Um, but what's nice about this bridge through the carabiner is it allows you adjustability for your shot angles. See, it's nice. A lot of them lock right here and they're set. Once they're right here, they're set and that's all you're getting out of it right there. So you got to move around. You're going to be able to take your shot and stuff, but you're staying in this position right here. 
What's nice about his bridge, it lets me roll through this. So even me as a left-handed shooter shooting this way, if I want to shoot this side and I'm setting here, this bridge will let me roll my body to be able to shoot like that and be able to take that shot and it's silent. But because of this bridge, I can make that roll and do that. I can roll this way too. If that deer is coming by, I can move with him quietly and silently and I get that flexibility rather than fighting to twist my body here because I'm stationary with this one I can take this and as that deer is coming in I can roll like that and then take that shot anywhere I want to because of this bridge design it's a flawless ring type system design on there comfortable as can be this saddle is amazing, and like I said, I have zero hot spots on me like I've had in other harnesses or other saddles. Um, comfortable, as, as you can imagine, fully adjustable with all your, uh, you know, your quick release uh, G hooks that are on here that again, mill spec rated. So it's a pretty flawless system on there like that. You get everything locked down, cinched. You got the Cobra buckle right here for easy on and off for your setup when you put it on so it's quick and quiet. Um, like I said, just a fantastic, harness or saddle i guess i should say saddle i keep saying harness but this thing is amazing i told him when he sent me one i said look john i'm probably not going to hunt out of one this year because i'm still I, i'm recovering from that meniscus tear pretty bad knee injury and i don't know if i want to be in a harness and have my knees here and be sitting like this all the time and and dealing with that against the tree this year but after being in this now for a little bit and playing with it i got a feeling that i'm going to be just fine because the comfort level is tremendous in it very minimalist approach, but so safe, and I love that functional of that bridge, that rotating bridge. That's just amazing. Like I said, I can have my bow here like this, laying right here, and that deer, if they come in on this side, it's real easy for me to pivot right into whatever I need to do, and that pivots with me silently. Or if I'm here like this and I see them and they're going to come in from that way, I can just swing over here and I can roll right into that shot real easy and it's silent. Very sweet, simple. I love that flexibility you get out of this bridge. So this thing is incredible. This harness is absolutely amazing. The saddle, um, very lightweight, very safe. Like I said, connected from the second you leave the ground with the Lyman belts all the way up. Running that bridge is awesome. Best harness I've or best saddle I've ever put on. Now I haven't tried all of them out there, but John has, and he's based a lot of these features on some of the best ones that's out there. But since he custom makes them, he can make them exactly like he wants. He can take this from this harness and this from this saddle and combine these and make them that way. By him being the one and only person custom building each one of these, they are exactly what they should be. They are perfect. They don't have to worry about crunching numbers, uh, material lists, things like that. He can just make it the absolute best uh, saddle that you could ever have and in my opinion he has done it this thing is incredible even here where you have these knotted over they are one two three four five six seven stitches seven rows of military grade stitching locking those together same on this side one two three four five six seven so these are stitched together incredibly this thing is just straight up amazing quality um, even here where you put this on here so that that bridge can slide and it's never going to wear through this. It's never going to go through there because this has got that ballistic nylon uh, extra sheathing over top of it. Makes it quiet and durable as can be and it holds that position. Love this saddle. Straight up love this saddle. So the information will be down there in the, uh, below for you. I'll have it on there so you can see all this stuff uh, in the description. If you want one, how to get a hold of John, that kind of stuff. Check it out for yourself. Give him a call if you have any questions. He can answer them for you. He can probably customize things for you and make it more your size. Less, if you're a bigger guy, smaller guy, uh, custom. Because again, he's custom making these. So there's a lot of flexibility there for you to be there. And uh, from what he's telling me price-wise, I don't have the actual number yet. But but from what he's telling me, they're going to be priced very, very competitively. So something to keep in mind and definitely want to check out. Again, any information that he gives me on that stuff will be in the description below for you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.